Hey, welcome back to my channel. I, I told you this one would be longer, so I hope it's longer. So, if you already know from the title, this is going to be about how to do your own Hunger Games in Minecraft Pocket Edition. But, you, you have to rather be, like, online friends through your phone, or you have to be with your friends to do this. But, yeah, first of all, you go create, oh, create new. Create new world. So then you have all these settings. The first thing you want to do is you go from infinite to old. If you didn't know what that does, it makes your world limited so that people can't run like a billion blocks away and just have full diamond armor. So it's like an actual like fighting experience. You can do show coordinates or not. You can I, I would activate cheats so when someone dies in the game, you can just make them into creative so they can just watch. I wouldn't keep keep inventory because they're when they die, they're out of the game. You could do bonus chest. I don't. I wouldn't do starting map because it's pretty small. You can do whatever type of seed you would like. I'm just you could uh, survive. Ooh, the mansion one would be pretty cool. Let's choose that. Let's see what that would look like. Spooky luncheon. And then if you go to multiplayer, visible to land characters. Um, I believe the, this turns off name tags. And if I'm not wrong, I'm sorry. And then you could t like do the settings, like I said, however you want. So let's just go and create this world. I don't have anybody with me right now, so I'm lonely. But I have my little Lego figure right here. So here I spawn in. And then this is how I would do it. It's kind of awkward right here. But like, one second, let me just go into creative. Oops. So I will do this. I would like, so I'll, I'm just kind of clearing this out because it's not the best. But like, I would, for how many people you're doing, I, oh, not that far. Ah. So I would put everybody up probably about three blocks away in a tiny hole like that. Three blocks away here for how many people are playing. And like I said, the world is like limited. See? the corners so like someone could like then everybody runs off away and then ha like they all run away and then everybody gets their stuff but want to hear the strategy i do in the game it worked for me the first time i played but it was just that one of my friends got super unlucky so i would go off to the corners right over here or like I would probably collect stuff all along the way. Then I would collect some trees. And then I'll go right here. You'd start to dig down. Trust me, you want to have an underground. You want to be underground most of the time because you need the ores and there's a limited amount of it. Then you go here. Then when you like, if you build your base and stuff. If you do that, you can see the time, like if it's day or night, and if it's safe to go out. And the last time, everybody else would do something like, they would do the exact same thing, basically, like they will dig down like usual. But they wouldn't know the time pattern. So, don't forget to do that. Because... If it's nighttime, they won't know, and they'll probably be in there and might. You might be lucky because they might be um low on hunger. I om I just remembered, when you start, you want to set a like probably ten minute timer. The for the timer is for you don't you don't you don't attack in that time when the timer goes off, like you can fight each other, and. Then everybody would just start fighting. I don't believe you can set a border, which would be really cool. But yeah, I as I said, this 
this um is the spooky mansion suit and i think this suit is probably going to be a really good one because you can just go right up this mountain claim it as your own and then pour like if you have lava you can pour it down and make a lava vase so that's what i have also here's my character isn't he beautiful just look at that smiling face so yeah I usually, depending on how long it takes and how lucky and unlucky you are, the game, the game should probably last, um, I actually honestly don't know, I don't remember how long the other one lasted, it lasted quite a while, well not that much because, um, I got, I got one of my friends, I got him, then one of my other friends was attacked by one of those zombies that like go in the water, the drowned I think they're called. The right in here. Sorry, I had to stop it like that. I had to re-edit it three times, and I didn't want to do it a fourth time. So that's why I edited it off weird. All I was going to say was just those drowned go in the water, so be careful of that. That's how my friend died last time. And, I, and everything else was just, I was just going to say thanks for watching, and that was it. So thanks for watching. Bye.